A friend of mine. Well, I can't really say a friend of mine. I've never even talked to him on the internet. But you know how when you watch videos from certain people, you tend to think they're your friend because you get to know their attitude. But, so, a friend of mine, uh, Panda4994, um, put up a rant video about how people are treating Mojang with all the snapshots and how it's negative. Nobody should ever threaten to kill somebody because they disagree with them. And what I was saying, when I grew up, there was no internet. Um, and even with no internet, there was this problem. If you weren't face to face with somebody, you could be the biggest jerk in the world to them. It's always nice to have oh, nothing in your hand. So, uh, let's just say back in the early 90s, 20 years ago, I used to work for a pizza place and I used to take orders and deliver pizza. And I was one of the head guys that did it, and I was able to work a shift all by myself. So I would answer the phone and take an order for a pizza, and I would also deliver the pizza. And when I was out, somebody else would answer the phone. No big deal. And people would call up sometimes with a problem, and they'd be really, really nasty on the phone because they're not face-to-face -face with you. And basically, there's no consequences for them telling you to F off and die and stuff like that. And I would get orders like this or, you know, people would be upset once in a while and they'd be really nasty, really mean on the phone and even, you know, to the point where they're threatening harm to the person. And I'd be like all nervous and I'd be like, oh, I got to go to this person's door and I'd get to the door and the person would be face to face with me. And I'm like, I'm sorry for the problem. And the person would be, oh, don't worry about it. Complete change of attitude because they're face to face with you. They can actually, I can't really say see the consequences of their actions, but they're face to face. They're not going to be mean to your face, but on the phone, they're disconnected. So it's okay to be mean with you because they're not going to get immediate um, problems, you know, just in case I'm a jerk and I want to beat the crap out of them because the guy's threatening my life on the phone. That wouldn't happen because I'm grown up and I don't care if somebody's threatening my life unless they really mean it. And I know if somebody's angry at a pizza shop because a pizza was made wrong and they do something stupid, they're not going to get the concept, you know. Whatever. They're not going to actually kill me for a pizza. Nowadays, maybe, especially where I live in Florida now, because psychotics live in Florida. That's a broad generalization, by the way. So, what I'm getting at um, is if you're face-to-face -face with somebody and you're not going to say something, when you're not face-to-face -to, -face to that person, don't say it. Um, another prime example is driving a car. Road rage. Some guy will give you the finger behind the wheel because they don't think there's any consequences to it because who the hell is going to get out of their car and go after the person who just gave you the finger? But I've been in road rage situations in the past where a person has actually gotten out of their car to threaten to beat me up. And it's like, okay, I get out of my car, so now the um, threat is real. It's face to face instead of behind the wheel. And the person shakes my hand and says, sorry, I didn't mean to get that upset with you. Because the danger is it becomes real. And the same thing with the internet. When you're hiding behind the keyboard and the monitor, people can feel safe to say some really mean, nasty things that they don't mean to say. But they feel safe because there is no consequences, they think. But that doesn't mean that you tell Mojang or Te um, Jeb that you want them dead, go commit suicide or whatever. That is freaking mean. You gotta remember, even though you're not face to face with a person, you are still talking to a person. That person has feelings. That person, you know, has a family, has a life. That person is not somebody that you can rambly just jump on and troll them just because you're behind the keyboard and you think there's no ramifications to it. It's amazing how brave people become when they're not face to face with somebody. So, come on people, relax. This game is a game in progress. It changes, it's gonna change. There's gonna be some changes that are good. There's gonna be some changes that are bad. But trust in Mojang because they've made an awesome freaking game here that they are gonna do the right thing for the game. And just because a snapshot comes out and it, uh, break some of your 
mob farms. So, F and what? Go find another way to do it. Don't go after Jeb or the people at Mojang. Yes, say things that you disagree with that's going on with the game. Go right ahead. Complain about it. But don't cross that line and threaten people. Don't cross that line. Um, especially if you're a big YouTuber. It doesn't matter with me because who the fuck cares about me? Well, a couple people. <laughs> Mainly my daughter. Uh, <laughs> but come on. It's a game. Relax. We're in the snapshots. Whatever is changed, we'll probably change again in the next snapshot. Communicate with the makers of the game. Be happy that they communicate with you. And don't threaten anybody. It is just a fucking game. So, I will have to say, Panda's rant was right. And I, I'm just upset that people would actually threaten somebody. I mean... Don't you want people to treat you as you treat them? So I go through life and I try and treat people well, how I want to be treated. And if uh, something I dislike uh, that somebody's doing, I say, hey, you know what? I feel bad when you act this way because blah, 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 blah. I don't go behind their back and go, hey, this motherfucker over there said this about me. That's a wrong thing to say I never do that I confront the person and tell them what's going on hey what, what's well, what's going on with your mind there don't I don't threaten the person's life come on I mean Jesus this is a game it's a freaking game get over it if it changes and they break your floors because they don't move back and forth and mobs don't fall through anymore oh too bad be like Etho. Oh, well, they broke that mob farm. Another way to figure it out. I mean, ew. <laughs> I should start a... We should start a movement. I shouldn't say I. We should start a movement. What would Etho do? <laughs> That's the Minecraft version of what would Jesus do? Because, in my eyes, Etho equals Jesus in Minecraft. So, I am going to finish working on my thing out here. Thank you for listening to my rant, by the way. And um, I would have to say thank you, Lapis Demon, uh, Mary Diana, uh, for also standing with the cause of the panda, because she's a pretty cool person also. And uh, she says what's on her mind, just like everybody else should. Don't keep things bottled up. Say what's on your mind because it keeps the anger from bottling up so one day you explode and you go crazy and go blah, blah, blah. You don't want to go blah, blah, blah. But anyways, um, if you're upset with the changes with Mojang, Mojang, you get over it. It's just a freaking game and it's snapshots right now and it may not even make it into the final 1.9 pre-release. Got it, got it, got it. So, enough whining, back to fun. <laughs>